Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over a lesson in units. And in this lesson, I'm specifically going to talk about how to change your units within AutoCAD from architectural, fractional, scientific, decimal, and engineering. And then we'll go over some of the nuances that the units function also has within AutoCAD. For example, with the decimal function, the units cannot really be switched into millimeters, feet. They can be whatever you really want them to be. So again, we're going to go over some of those weird little quirks that AutoCAD has. With that being said, this should be a pretty quick lesson. So let's get into the video. Real quick, before we get started with the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. This gives me a good idea of how the videos are doing and if you guys like them or not. If you find the video helpful or you like it, give it a like down below. If you think someone else could use this video to help them, give it a share. And if you want to see something else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. All right, so the first thing I want to go over is just the types of units themselves that you can select in AutoCAD. So we're going to come down here to the bottom right function. And this little toolbox is going to have this uh, box where all the units are going to be. And when we click the arrow next to this toolbox, it's going to pull up five different types of units. You have architectural, decimal, engineering, fractional, and scientific. So with architectural, you're going to have a unit that is in the imperial system, so feet and inches. And it's going to give you very high level uh, feet and inches. So four and a quarter, four and a half, four, three fourths, and then five inches and then you're gonna be done. It's not gonna give you specific. The next type, we're gonna go back down here, is going to be decimal. Now decimal, the decimal unit is unitless. So you'll see when I try and make a line here, it's giving me 3.94, 4.04. Those can be whatever units you like. Those can be millimeters, meters, feet, um, really any unit you want but it's just going to give you a tracking basis to be able to say, hey, this is 4x long. The next one is going to be engineering, and engineering is going to give you more specifics when it comes to feet and inches. So we're going to go 3 feet, 8.3 inches. It's going to give you feet and inches. The next one is going to be fractional. Fractional is going to give you, again, numbers that are unitless, but in fractions this time. So instead of 3.82, it's going to go 3.34. It's kind of like architectural, but it's not in inches or the imperial system. And then finally, we have scientific, and this is going to be used uh, for bigger uh, you know, drawings or micro drawings, but you're going to have the exponent to factor to the scientific units. And as you can see here, we're 2.96e to the power of 0, 0. Again, I don't use those very much, but those are the five unit types that you can switch to in AutoCAD. All right, so now that we've discussed types of units and what units you can use within AutoCAD, we want to know, or we're going to go over, how to change the units. And the quickest way to do so is exactly what we just went through a second ago in the video, right? We're going to come down here to the bottom right-hand toolbar. We're going to click on this little engineering down button. And when I click on that, it's going to take me to the other units. So again, we just went over this, but there are a couple other ways you can change your units as well. So the first way to do it is you can go to the command bar and anything that you can click a button for, you can always type it in the command bar as well and it will typically work. So we're just gonna come down here to the command bar and we're going to type in units. We're gonna go right here. And as you can see here, it brings up this drawing units page. And when you bring up the drawing units page, we can then come to the type and we can change it from architectural, decimal, engineering, fractional, scientific. So we'll change it to fractional, click OK. And as you can see here, it is now fractional. And one thing too that I want to point out, when you change the units anywhere else but the lower right hand bar, it will change in the lower right hand bar as well for you. We'll delete that. The last and final way, and again, this is going to be the same as typing in the command line. We're going to come up here to the AutoCAD button in the upper left-hand corner. We're going to come down and draw utilities, and then we're going to go to units. Once we go to units, it's pulling up the exact same dialog box. And here we can change it then to engineering again. And one thing I want to point out too is the precision level that I didn't point out a second ago. You can change the decimal point here to whatever you would like. So for example, this top one, is going to be, we'll say, one foot, one inch. Then we can go to the second one, which is going to be one foot by 1.2 inches, and so forth. So, for example, we have all the way down here, maybe to the sixth power, 
and we can click OK, click OK here. And then when I come here to draw the line, you can see that's given me 3.510326 inches. Again, I never need it that precise, but if you're working on something that had a very serious tolerance to it, you might want it to be that precise. So those are the three ways that you can click or change your units really quickly. Um, and again, I would highly recommend sticking with all three of those ways as a quick way. And then you have the units or you can go up to the AutoCAD button to really get more of a precision based number. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the video here. Again, pretty short video meant for more of the beginner level just to understand where the units are at. Once you figure out the unit button is down below on the bottom right hand toolbar, you'll have a you know pretty easy time switching between engineering, decimal, architectural, fractional, scientific, or whatever unit you would like to use within your drawing. Again, pretty simple, pretty straightforward and basic lesson. I do plan on creating a couple other videos to maybe show how to convert units from say inches to centimeters, so stay tuned for those. Uh, but again, thank you for watching the video and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.